guys, welcome back to the Tactical Solar Channel. Today is a big day. I'm going to teach you how to build one of these batteryless systems. We can take this one in, take this in, right in. This, hook it up directly to your solar panel, like this, and all the power that's harnessing from the solar panel will be directly to this inverter right here. Where you can charge uh, walk the charger right here. You can plug directly to it and you can have a battery charge. You can have a right before we get into the build guys, please subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up and comment on what you guys think about all of this, you know, towards the end of the video. So that's all the information I got guys and let's get into this build. Alright guys, so this is the setup for how to build this entire uh, batteryless system. This, this is all the parts that you're going to need. Now, the guy that I am, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. So anywhere from the reverse polarity all the way up to the inverter, I'm going to I'm going to put everything in the description if you want to do this yourself. Like I said, it's cheap. This is about a $60 build. So what you need is pliers and a wire stripper and some scissors, which I already got some of this stuff cut. So let's begin. So first thing is you want to put your reverse polarity in like this. This will go. This is where you stick it to the solar panel. If you have a SAE connection on your solar panel, like my, my 200 watt flex solar uh, briefcase panel, it has an SAE connector. Now you can do this with MC4, uh, XT60s. Uh, it's just for a matter of fact, in this video, we're going to use SAEs. Uh, these connectors are not really used that much. Uh, a lot of people say they are cheap connectors. I don't find a problem with them. I really like them. So right here, this is where everything, this is the game changer right here. 24 volt to 12 volt buck converter. Uh, it does step up the amps to 30, 30 amps and it does have a 30 amp fuse built in. And that's good because this, uh, SAE to O-ring uh, deal right here. It has a 40 amp fuse on. So yeah, it's super simple. On here, it tells you it'll label uh, the input and the output. So the input is where your solar panel is going to be. Uh, that'll be your input. So right now, we wanna flip, wanna flip these deals up right here and put and when you cut this off and when you strip it you want to make sure that you twist the wire to have a good connection on them just like that and so you go from red to red just, just stick it on in there and when you feel like it's good just close it that's it just look how strong that is it I'm tugging on it, it won't even go. So, so take your black and black, stick it in there. And there you go. So I want to talk more about the buck converter. So the average solar panel is about 24 volts. And what I'm doing is I'm stepping down the voltage from 24 to 12 because this inverter is like a 12 volt inverter. That's its input. But it inputs 12 volts, but outputs 120 volts AC. So we're taking DC voltage and we're converting it to AC. So that's what we're doing. So let's get back into it again. Did right here, we're gonna do the same. You do, and I'm gonna take this black wire right here, twist it. It's important to twist it. The wire is good. So black on black, stick it in there and then red your red line just twist that up pretty good and put it with yellow 
yellow is the positive. All right, so that's mainly all the hard part. We're gonna take, we're gonna take all this, and we're gonna connect it. These are your O-rings. They're tight. And I'm gonna grab my pliers. Let's get snug, and there you go. So now you got a system built. So let's go outside and let's test it. Alrighty, we're out here with our setup. This is my Flex Solar 200 watt briefcase panel. It's foldable. Uh, it's an all out, well built solar panel. It's got, it's got like I said, an SAE port. An SAE port. And it's got a built in solar charge controller. It's pretty nice. It's also SAE. Uh, this panel's already harvesting some energy. So, that's what we got our system out here. We're going to be solar charging an 80 Milwaukee high output battery. Currently at two bars. And we're just gonna use a standard charger. So, out here, we are going to, all right, so we're gonna connect that end right there to that end. Alrighty, so we got it all connected together. So it's running off this solar panel. For that 24 volt down 12 volt uh, converter all the way up to this end. Now we'll see if we got it. Hey! It clicked on. Uh, we got a green light. That means it's on. And now we're going to try and solar charge that battery from the sun. Just like that. It's connected. You can see the Milwaukee light is on. Moment of truth. I'll take Milwaukee battery and charge. The light is on. And it's charging. You can also hear it hissing. It means it's charging. The inverter fan is blowing. So that's good. That is good. So you can actually do this with any tool battery. You can do it with Ryobi. Dewalt, Makita, uh, all 18 volt batteries that you can do. Uh, I will be making a video on using a rapid charger next time. I'm not using it for this video. Anyways, guys, that is solar charging a Milwaukee battery. Alrighty, folks, since we know that the, the Milwaukee charger and battery works, um, for all you Ryobi lovers, we're going to show you that Ryobi does work well i think it works better than the milwaukee because like i said that charger takes 55 watts input and that one takes about 75 to 80 watts so you can actually have two of these chargers running compared to one charger now we are going to test it with that four amp hour uh, 18 volt battery so let's just put it in there Look at that. It's charging the four amp hour, 18 volt battery. I know it's on three bars, but just showing you guys how it's not just a charging battery I got. But yeah, the fan is running still, but we got the batteries charging. I'm just saying guys, look, this is really, this is a really good system. Remote jobs, when power goes out, because I'm telling you guys something bad, is probably about to happen and i'm just going to be showing you more guys that you know you don't have to use this system to charge tool batteries now tool batteries is a good option to have to store power because you can buy inverters and a lot of things with these tool batteries i mean you can buy you can buy i got an inverter from my milwaukee and i got an inverter for my ryobi i'm just saying that these are good good things to store power but 
I will be showing you guys in another video of what all you can power in 200 watts. But make sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a like on this. Hey guys, after about waiting 15 minutes, uh, it topped off my 4 amp hour battery. I'm telling you, this actually really works. It's clean. full batteries i mean it can do more than charge full batteries but right now in this video it topped off that battery as we can see it works well guys this will conclude this system this is the tax system 1.0 and yes i can call this my system because i have not seen anybody use this to charge tool batteries well guys this is going to conclude in the video of you solar charge your batteries now like i said i will be making a video later on that you can solar charge just way more than tool batteries i mean you can do rechargeable flashlights you can do um you can do your phones tablets anything uh, USB C fast charging and i will release a video later on maybe next week of doing this uh, so like i said please give me a subscribe down below thumbs up uh, comment what you think on this uh, i really thank guys i really thank god for showing me all this and uh, giving me the answers to all this i do credit him the most high and i just want to say thank you guys for watching and i just hope to see y'all guys in the next video